Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to Robert's Porch. I'm your host, Robert. All right, NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series from North Wilkesboro later on today. This is the fourth race ever for the Truck Series in North Wilkesboro, 1995-96, and then 2023 and 2024. And then we did find out that they will be back in 25, part of the All-Star Weekend for the NASCAR Cup Series. The right brand 250, 250 laps around the newly repaved North Wilkesboro Raceway, 156 miles, three stages, 70, 70, and 110. Obviously, new pavement. We really don't know how long tires are going to last. Um, we do have in the cup side the alternatives and the primes and the rain tires are available. Truck series, we just have rain tires and slicks. The new pavement, there's going to be with all the rain yesterday, there's not going to be any rubber on the tracks. So it's going to be a completely green track. So, yeah, there's a lot of variables in the, to start this race. But I think it's going to be fun anytime we can race at a track like North Wilkesboro and bring that history of the sport back. Because you remember North Wilkesboro was the same as Martinsville. They were on the schedule together from the beginning of NASCAR. They North Wilkesboro predates Darlington. So, but this era of the schedule, at least in the Cup side, Darlington, North Wilkesboro, Charlotte, that just screams NASCAR history. All right, last year in the truck series, Corey Hine won stage one. Kyle Larson in the number seven for Spire Motorsports won stage two. We know Kyle is doing the big double at the qualifying this weekend. So the qualifying today at Indy sets positions 13 through 30. Tomorrow they'll have the fast 12 run, and then you make the fast six and you run. And then the last four spots will run for the last row, and then whoever's the slowest will go home. Let's hope that's not Kyle Larson. Um, let's hope that all this effort he's putting in, he has been fast, that he does make the field. Um, I have said in the past that I didn't want him to. Um, as seeing what speed he's had during these practices, okay, that's cool. Um, do I still think that he's going to win both races? No, I don't think he's winning both races. But I'm not a fan. I've not really been a fan of Kyle Larson um, after what he did at Kansas. I'm trying not to trying to find a way not to not not like him. A lot of double, a lot of negatives in that sense, that, that statement. Um, but I saw a lot of I saw different colors in that day. We won. Um, just the winning that coming down, doing the quickie lap, the celebrating. Didn't do a ridiculous, stupid burnout, which I hate those. Do a couple donuts, do a little bit. That's fine. But do what he normally does. Yeah, that's egregious to me. He didn't do that in Kansas. So I was like, oh, that's a different side of Kyle. So we'll see. Anyway, last year, Kyle Larson won the truck race, followed by Tom Jeske, Matt DiBenedetto, Carson Hosapar, Bubba Wallace, Corey Heim, Matt Crafton, Chase Purdy, Ross Chastain, and Grant Infinger. We had 12 cautions for 81 laps. We know it's a short track. We know it's a truck series. Uh, we had six lead changes among five drivers. Kyle Larson led a race high 138 laps, followed by Corey Heim at 75. Carson Hill's Hobart 16, Bubba Wallace 13, William Byron 10. Average rain possession for that North Wilkesboro race, Corey Heim 2.83, Carson Hostafar 3.23, Kyle Larson 3.38, Matt DiBenedetto 7.10, William Byron 7.43, Christopher Bell uh, 8.02, Grant Infinger 8.98. Yeah, that was a pretty much an all-star truck race. Tom Jeske, 9.45, Ross Chastain, 9.91, and Bubba Wallace, 12.01. Now, because when we look at some of these tracks, when you look at a Kansas, you can look at Vegas, Texas, Charlotte, you kind of get those similar tracks to it. There's only one North Wilkesboro. Now, one of the elements in North Wilkesboro is flat track, not a lot of banking. So if you look at sites that have the list of like the different categories of tracks, flat tracks. We look at Phoenix, we look at Martinsville, we look at Richmond, Nashville, North Wilkesboro last year, Pocono. Um, they added IRP and Gateway to that. Gateway is not exactly flat, but okay, I walked down turn one. I know it's not flat, but it's under the flat tra track category. So we're going to lump those tracks in. Eight races over the 2023 season. Corey Heim, average finish, 6.43. Grant Infinger, 8.75. Christian Eckes, 10.75. J. 
Chase Purdy 10.75, Carson Hosefar 11.0, Tanner Gray 11.38, Ben Rhodes 12.13, Matt Crafton 12.38, Nick Sanchez 12.5, and Jake Garcia 12.75. Now we are nine races through the regular season of 16, so there's only seven races left in the regular season for the Truck Series. Right now we have Christian Eckes with two wins, Corey Heim with two wins, Nick Sanchez and Raja Karuth each with a win. The other six that are currently qualified for the playoffs is Tim Jeske, T Taylor Gray, Tyler Ankrum, Matt Crafton, Tanner Gray, and Ben Rhodes. Outside looking, we have Grant Infinger, Daniel Dye, Stuart Friesen, Bailey Curry, Chase Purdy, Jake Garcia, Brett Holm, Dean Thompson, Ty Dillon, and uh, yeah, Ty Dillon and Timmy Hill. Now, currently 21st in points is Lane Riggs. He is the top rookie so far this year. What is ironic is currently 22nd in points is Caden Honeycutt. He's had four starts in nine races, and he's 22nd in points. He's ahead of Mason Massey, Lawless Allen, Stuart, Spencer Boyd, Matt Mills, Thad Moppet, who all run the full season. Somebody give Caden Honeycutt a full-time ride, please. That, get, that kid deserves it. He is one hell of a racer. I think he's kind of like the more modern-day Ty Majeski. Uh, if you remember Ty, he had a full-time ride, lost it, um, went to work on tracks with Thorsport, drove a few races, and was able to parlay that into a full-time ride, and then he's a championship contender. So, All right, so for the right brand 250 NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series race today in uh, North Wilkesboro, my four picks to win, it could be Heim, Ty, Corey Heim. Ross Chastain, you know he won last week. He is in that 45, oh, the, the part-time driver's here. So in the number one for Tricon Garage, we have Brendan Queen, known as Butterbean. And they actually put Butterbean on the back window of the truck, which is pretty cool. <coughs> we have NASCAR Xfinity standout, Sammy Smith, in the number seven for Spire Motorsports, the truck that won this race last year. In the 16th for Atari Racing, making her season debut, we have Eric Almarola. He could play a factor because Tire Racing used to be one of the top teams in Truck Series. Ross Chastain back again in the 45 for Nice Motorsports. We know it won five times last year with Carson Nussefar. It's won this year with Ross Chastain. It's ring well with Kate Honeycutt. And then young, youngster Connor Jones is in the 66 for Track on Garage. So Corey Heim, Ross Chastain are two of the picks. And then Grand Infinger, we know he runs well on tracks like this. Um, and Christian Eckes, who's got two wins on the season as well. So Heim, Time, Ross Chastain, Green and Finger, Christian Eckes are the four picks. Um, based on what we saw in Cup qualifying before the rains came, this is a multi multi groove racetrack at North Wilkesboro. We're not just right around the bottom. Whoa, that could be put, us on, put on some great racing. If we can race from the top of the track to the bottom, it's not that big. But that could be fun. Can you imagine what the truck race and the all-star race is going to be if that's the case? If we get what we got in practice? Oh, boy. Fun times. As always, thanks for watching Robert Sports Show. And don't just have a great day. Have a spiffy day, Robert Sports Show. Your YouTube leader for sports content.